So you read the title and you want to speed up your PC, right? 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 Well, good thing you clicked on this video. With me today, I have the SK Hynix S31 Gold SSD, and this is going to speed up your computer. Now, before I make you cringe any further, let's just check out how slow my computer is at the moment. Currently running on a 1TB Western Digital Blue mechanical hard drive. Just so we know what we're dealing with. Now, I'm also going to have a timer running just so we could know what time it takes. So why am I showing you guys the boot times? SSDs and hard drives are all about storage, all about how things load, how fast, how slow. And that test gives you a very good understanding of where you were and where you're gonna go. How a mechanical hard drive performs versus an SSD. In this case, the terabyte hard drive that I have and the one terabyte SSD from SK Hynix that I have as well. We're also gonna check out loading games and other programs just to see if there's any difference in that. So right now we are in the like the loading thing for the game, the loading screen, and it's taken a minute and five seconds so far. I don't know if you guys could see that and try to focus in it. A minute, 10 seconds, and it's still loading. I mean, it's not really loading. The game already started, but you know, it's been around a minute. Okay, so this is Fortnite, and so far it's been a minute and 35 seconds. Still, I mean, it's logging in. I don't, I'm not gonna count time for that. But the loading part, when there was a bar below, that took like a full minute. So both Far Cry 4 and Fortnite took about a minute and change to load. So the S31 Gold SSD is a new SSD coming into the scene and it's gonna compete against our Samsung, Kingston, Crucial SSDs, you know, the ones that we all have. They're moving in with this really attractive SSD. It looks really good in my opinion. Very sleek, very simple, very good looking. And in my opinion, this could go in any build and if you have any RGB lighting, it's gonna look a lot better. I'll be installing it in my gaming PC, which has a mechanical hard drive, like I said before. It has a Core i7-7700K, Asus Z270 TUF Mark II motherboard, a GTX 1070, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB RAM. Ignore the lighting on the modules, only one of them lights up for some reason. It gets pretty annoying actually. But yeah, we saw that it took a minute and 10 seconds to boot, and this is only from powering the computer to loading up to Windows. We didn't even start a program or anything. If you try to start a program, I would imagine it's another 30 seconds until it's completely usable. Just a heads up, something to note, this hard drive was recently wiped. So everything you see on here, that's basically the only thing on the hard drive. So it's not like there's millions of tasks running in the background. No, what you see on the desktop is everything that's in there which is gonna be the same with the SSD. So, so this is probably as fast as a mechanical hard drive can get. I wanted to give it the best opportunity to give us the best results. So I could compare that to an SSD. All right, let's do some more testing and then let's install the SSD. Now I had already begun to open it somewhat here and I ripped the tape on the sides a little bit just so it could be easier on video. Let's have a quick unboxing just to see what we get in the box before I install it. So, box, and we have the SSD right off the bat right there, very nice color. And manuals, nothing else. So we get the manual, a little tray to hold the SSD. Inside of the anti-static um, plastic. Let's open that. And here it is, very nice looking, very high quality. See if it could focus, there we go. Very simple, I really like this design, it's very good. This would look great inside a black PC with some white cabling, some silver parts in there. It would look good in any PC, I can't wait to see what it looks like in mine. It's gonna be a good time. So now that my computer's off, I'm gonna install this little hard drive into there and behind the scenes, I'm gonna transfer all my data from the current hard drive 
onto this one. So you guys are not gonna see that. I just don't feel, you know, like an expert in that area. There's still many things that I'm unsure of. So I can't really record that because I don't wanna give you guys any advice that I'm not even completely sure about. Ready, set, go. Okay, so that was a lot faster than I thought. It booted into Windows in like 15 seconds, and then I opened Edge, it was like 20 seconds, and it was all good. It just took me a long time to type YouTube, but in 30 seconds, you could be watching a video. That's how fast it is. 25 seconds, I would say. If you're typing with both hands, 25 seconds, you're good to go. But anyway, you guys see what I mean? This thing right here, it's really fast. It's an SSD worth getting if you have a hard drive, even a lower storage SSD. Go with the terabyte version of the S31 Gold SSD. S31 Gold? Gold S31? SK Hynix, you know what I'm talking about. So let's see how long it would take this thing to boot a game, to load a game. Let's try Far Cry 5 and then Fortnite. Keep in mind that for Far Cry 5, it's playing through Uplay, so you kind of have to load Uplay first and then load Far Cry. Actually, it's already loading. And that's basically it, it's already in the game. The only thing is that this loading screen, you can't skip it. Doesn't mean it's loading or anything, it's already in the game. I just wanna see how long it took to go into the game. Okay, so now we're gonna load into Fortnite. So just double click, and this is what I wanna see. So right now there's nothing on the screen. I wanna see how long it takes for it to show up, and then when it starts, that loading screen, that's what I wanna see. Cause I know for the hard drive, it did take a little while. I want to see how long it takes for the SSD to load Fortnite. Alright, there's one. This is the screen. So I remember the, eight, the hard drive just took forever. And I could already tell this one's a lot faster. Yeah, the hard drive would have been like somewhere in the middle. This one's basically done. Very impressive. So it's done. Okay. And, I mean, I might as well just check how fast it shuts down. I'm gonna wait for the lights to turn off. Okay, there it is. Didn't have to wait long. By the way, did you know that SK Hynix is the second largest memory chip maker and the third largest semiconductor company in the world? Yeah, this isn't just, you know, just any company coming into the SSD space. This is huge. And as you saw by those speeds, they're not messing around. So three models are available with capacities of 250 gigs, 500 gigs, and one terabyte. Yes, they all have the same very impressive speeds of 560 megabytes per second sequential read and 525 megabytes per second sequential write. I know many of us, including myself, may not know what those numbers mean, but that's what the tests are for. I wanted to show you in the real world how those numbers would come into play. So you're gonna get faster loading times for loading into Windows when you turn on your computer, faster shutdown times, faster loading times with games, programs, websites. You could load into Windows, start a website, start watching YouTube videos within 30 seconds or less. This thing's impressive. And then also if you want to transfer files from your computer to your flash drive, to your phone, you know, anything like that, all that's gonna be sped up compared to a hard drive. The S31 Gold also comes at an affordable price. You could expect to pay about $50 for the 250 gig model, 78 for the 500 gig model, and 124 for the 1TB model. This is a really good looking, great performing SSD, and I think it'll fit in in pretty much any build. 
It looks nice, great design, great colors, nothing, you know, too out there. And I took a look at the Samsung prices for their SSDs. The 860 EVO 500 gig, I believe, that one's $10 more expensive than this one. And 500 gigs is, you know, kind of like a sweet spot. Or maybe even 250 for a budget build. So this thing's affordable, it performs very well. I don't know how many times I've said that, but I mean it, it's really good. Alright, that's enough of me rambling. That's gonna be it for the video. Please make sure to leave a like, a comment down below, and consider subscribing. Links will be down below to the hard drive. Uh, thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video.